Hi guys, this is Daryl and welcome back to Sci-Fi Odyssey. Today we're diving deep into the world of Black Mirror, ranking its 10 most twisted episodes. Now before we jump in, be warned, major spoilers ahead. Let's start the countdown at number 10 with Season 1, Episode 3, The Entire History of You. Imagine being able to rewind and rewatch every single event of your life. Sounds cool, right? Well, in this episode, this tech novelty quickly turns into a nightmare, leading to obsession and paranoia. It's a chilling tale of how technology can distort our perception of reality. Set in an alternative reality, this episode introduces us to the Grain, a tiny implant that records everything its user sees and hears. With this device, people can replay their memories on any screen, reliving them whenever they want. Sounds futuristic and convenient, right? But the episode is not about the cool tech. Instead, it explores the devastating effect of such a device on relationships and mental health. Our protagonist, Liam, becomes increasingly obsessed with scrutinising his wife's memories, suspecting her of having an affair. Liam's fixation escalates to a point where he forces his wife to replay certain memories, leading to confrontations that irreversibly damage their relationship. The climax of the episode is heartbreaking as we see Liam alone in his house, obsessively replaying happier times, lost in memories of the past. At number 9 we have Season 1 Episode 2, 15 Million Merits. In a world where people pedal bikes to earn merits, one man dares to challenge the system. 15 Million Merits is a dark satire on entertainment, consumerism and the human spirit. Set in a dystopian future where citizens must earn merits by peddling exercise bikes to power the society, 15 Million Merits follows Bing, a young man disillusioned with the oppressive, consumer-driven world he's trapped in. Then Bing meets Abby, a talented singer. He's inspired to help her escape their monotonous existence by entering a talent show called Hot Shot. However, their quest for freedom reveals the dark underbelly of their society and the true cost of rebellion. This episode is a twisted exploration of our obsession with fame, entertainment and instant gratification. At its core, 15 Million Merits is a tragic love story set against the backdrop of a dystopian world. At number 8 we have Season 2 Episode 2, White Bear. This episode is equal parts terrifying and tragic. A woman wakes up with no memory, pursued by mysterious hunters. The plot twist and the ethical questions it raises are what make White Bear a truly twisted watch. It starts with a woman, Victoria, waking up with no memory in a seemingly dystopian world where most people are zombified by their phone screens and a mysterious signal. They silently record her on their phones as she's chased by masked hunters. Sounds creepy? You fracking bet it is. But as always with Black Mirror, there's a twist. A twisty twist. This episode takes a nauseating turn when we learn that the hunt is actually a form of punishment for Victoria, who was complicit in a horrifying crime. The White Bear Justice Park is set up where Victoria is made to relive her fear and confusion every day as a form of public spectacle and punishment. The audience, once seemingly passive, is revealed to be actively participating in her torment. Next at number 7 we have Season 3, Episode 3, Shut Up and Dance. In this gut-wrenching episode, we see how a seemingly innocent teenager is manipulated into committing heinous acts, all because of a computer virus. The final hits like a punch to the gut, reminding us about the dark side of the digital world. Shut Up and Dance follows Kenny, whose life spirals out of control when he falls into a digital trap. A hacker records him through his laptop camera in a compromising situation and uses the footage to blackmail him into following a series of increasingly disturbing instructions. The episode is a nerve-wracking, real-time descent into a nightmare. It's one of the few Black Mirror episodes that doesn't involve futuristic technology, making it all the more relatable and terrifying. The twist in the tale, and you know there's always a twist, comes when we learn the true nature of Kenny's actions that were captured by the hacker. It forces us as viewers to question our sympathy for him. Is he a victim of merciless hackers, or is he getting exactly what he deserves? This episode is a chilling exploration of the dark potential of the internet, as well as a commentary on surveillance and online privacy, or the lack thereof. 
At number six, we have season three, episode three, Playtest. A VR horror game that feeds on your deepest fears? Not exactly my idea of a good time, but okay. Apparently it is for our protagonist in Playtest, but not for long. It's a terrifying and tragic exploration of how advanced technology can play with our minds. In Playtest, we follow Cooper, an American tourist who's looking for adventure in London. He signs up to test a cutting-edge virtual reality horror game developed by a mysterious gaming company. Little does he know that he's in for a truly terrifying experience. The game uses a neural implant to directly tap into Cooper's mind, creating a personalised horror experience that feeds on his deepest fears. As the game becomes increasingly real and frightening, Cooper struggles to differentiate between the game and reality. The episodes takes us on a wild ride filled with terrifying sequences, a testament to the power of the human mind and the potential dangers of merging technology with our own consciousness. The line between reality and virtual reality blurs, making us wonder, how far is too far when it comes to gaming? With a shocking twist ending that leaves us questioning the true nature of Cooper's experience, Playtest is a masterful blend of horror and sci-fi, making us ponder the implications of blurring the lines between our minds and technology. Next up at number 5 is Season 3, Episode 4, White Christmas. This Christmas special offers not one, but three interlinked stories filled with dread, isolation and guilt. The disturbing reveal at the end makes White Christmas a chilling tale of technological misuse. This special episode features an anthology within an anthology, as it tells three interwoven stories all connected through the main characters, Matt and Joe, who are isolated in a snowy outpost on Christmas Day. It's a masterclass in storytelling, as each tale unfolds, revealing more about Matt and Joe's pasts and the reasons for their isolation. The first story showcases a technology called Z-Eyes, which allows people to block others in real life, turning them into unrecognisable silhouettes. The second tale introduces us to cookies, digital copies of people's consciousness used as personal assistants, raising questions about consciousness, ethics and the nature of existence. The third and final story reveals a dating app gone horribly wrong, resulting in a tragic crime. As the three stories come together, the dark truth behind Matt and Joe's situation comes to light, leaving us with a daunting and unforgettable ending. What makes White Christmas so twisted is not just the individual stories, but the way they all come together to form a grim and horrifying vision of a not-so-distant future. It touches upon themes of loneliness, loss, guilt, and the ways technology can amplify our worst instincts. At number four, we have season four, episode three, Crocodile. This episode is a bleak dive into the darkest corners of the human mind. It's a narrative of how one bad decision can lead to a spiral of increasingly heinous acts. Crocodile is a bone-chilling journey into guilt and desperation. The episode is set in a near-future Iceland where technology can access and display an individual's memories. We follow Mia, a successful architect with a murky past. After committing a hit-and-run years ago, she's haunted by the crime when her ex-boyfriend Rob wants to come clean about it. What starts as a moral quandary quickly descends into a horrific chain of events, as Mia goes to extreme lengths to preserve her secret and protect her life. This episode is a chilling exploration of guilt and the lengths people will go to to keep their darkest secrets hidden. What makes it particularly twisted is the memory technology used by the insurance investigator that becomes a threat to Mia's secret. Crocodile highlights the dangers of such invasive technology. It raises questions about the sanctity of our inner thoughts and memories, and the idea of thought privacy. What happens when our innermost thoughts aren't private anymore? What happens when simply thinking something becomes a crime? With its bleak landscape, intense performances, and a gut-wrenching conclusion, Crocodile is one of Black Mirror's darkest and most twisted tales. At number three, we have season four, episode six, Black Museum. The Black Museum is filled with tech artifacts, each with a terrifying backstory. It's a mash of cautionary tales culminating in a satisfyingly grim finale. This episode brings us to a remote, eerie museum run by the enigmatic Rollo Haynes. The Black Museum is filled with technological artefacts tied to criminal cases, each with a dark and twisted backstory. Nish, a young woman visiting the museum, is taken on a tour by Rollo as he recounts three horrifying tales connected to the exhibits. 
The first story tells of a doctor who uses an implant to feel the pain of his patients, leading him down a path of madness and sadism. The second tale delves into the consequences of transferring a woman's consciousness into her husband's mind, exploring the limits of love and coexistence. The third and final story reveals the origin of the museum's main attraction, a hologram of a convicted killer, repeatedly subjected to the agony of his execution. As the episode unfolds, Nish's true motives for visiting the museum are revealed, culminating in a gripping and satisfying climax. Black Museum is also a treasure trove of Easter eggs for longtime Black Mirror fans, with exhibits referencing various episodes throughout the series. It's as though the creators have designed their own nightmarish greatest hits collection, adding another layer of enjoyment, or should I say horror, for the seasoned viewer. At number two, we have season one, episode one, the national anthem. The episode that started it all. The UK prime minister faces a bizarre and humiliating demand to save a beloved royal. It's a twisted commentary on the power of social media and public opinion. In the National Anthem, we're introduced to a world that's eerily similar to our own. The story unfolds as the UK Prime Minister faces a dreadful dilemma when Princess Susanna, a beloved member of the royal family, is kidnapped. The kidnappers demand, Callow must perform an unspeakably obscene act on live TV, or the princess will be killed. The news goes viral and the nation watches in horrified anticipation. This episode takes a deep dive into public humiliation, political power, and the mob mentality of social media. It's a scathing critique of our 24-hour news cycle and our obsession with scandal and spectacle. What makes the national anthem particularly twisted isn't the grotesque premise itself, but the public's reaction to it. The viewers, eager for the spectacle, become complicit in the Prime Minister's humiliation. Finally, at number one, we have Bandersnatch. This interactive film takes Black Mirror's technology gone wrong theme to a new level. You, the viewer, make decisions for the protagonist, a young programmer working on a choose your own adventure video game. But as the narrative spirals, it becomes less clear who's really in control. The multiple endings and meta commentary on free will make this the most twisted episode of Black Mirror yet. Bandersnatch is not just one episode, it's a fully interactive film. It's set in 1984 and follows the young programmer Stephen Butler, who's adapting a fantasy choose-your-own-adventure novel into a video game. But here's the twist. As viewers, we get to make choices for Stephen, affecting the storyline and leading to different possible endings. This innovative format truly sets Bandersnatch apart. The story itself spirals into a meta-commentary on free will, control, and the nature of reality, reflecting the viewer's choices back on them. Stefan begins to question his own reality as he feels someone else controlling his actions, which is, of course, us, the audience. What makes Bandersnatch so twisted is not only the mind-bending narrative, but also its clever use of the interactive format. It turns us, the viewers, into active participants, making us complicit in the drama that's unfolding. We're no longer observers, safely judging the characters in Black Mirror from the comfort of our own homes. We're part of the episode. With its multiple parts and endings, Bandersnatch is an episode that can be watched and played again and again. Each choice leads to new discoveries, making it a unique and immersive viewing experience. And there you have it, 10 of Black Mirror's most twisted episodes. The genius of Black Mirror is that it pushes the boundaries of our comfort zones, making us ponder the implications of our increasingly tech-dependent world. Each episode, each twist, each chilling realisation, they all contribute to a body of work that's not just entertainment, but a mirror reflecting our own societal vulnerabilities. So did your most twisted Black Mirror episode make the list? Drop a comment down below and let me know. And remember, this list is subjective. The beauty of Black Mirror is that it resonates with everyone differently. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button and share it with your fellow Black Mirror fans. Until next time, guys.